talk about digestion a little bit. How can digestion affect things like your mood and, and immune system? Well, the digestion is really one of the boundaries of our body. Mm -hmm. If you really look at the digestion, from the mouth to the rectum, it's a one long tube. You can put something in on one side, it's going to come on the other side, and it, you, the body really has never interacted with it. So the coating, you know, the lining of the digestive tract is the lining that, just like the skin, mm -hmm. you decide is it going to go in or is it going to go, is, is go out. It's a more dynamic lining because it's inside. Once it goes in, you are right away in the tissue. Mm -hmm. The skin, it takes longer time until you really penetrate into the system. So a lot of the immune system starts its processing in the digestive tract. We know about the peyote patches and the lymph nodes, but now we know that the, sub, the submucosa, even on the mucosa level, there are important immune responses. There are also a lot of hormones, you know, the hormonal, the endocrine system that are excreted and secreted in the digestive system. So you have a very intricate balance between the endocrine system, between the immune system, and between the neurological system. You know, a lot of the neurological peptides find their origin in the digestive system. So obviously, there is a, a healthy digestive system can affect so many systems. And in principle, if a patient comes and their digestion is strong, we are in good shape. We can really work. Mm -hmm. And very often you find digestive systems that are wrecked, that are in trouble, and that's a big obstacle for healing. And it can be the constitution of the person, it can be dietary issues, it can be different parasites, bacteria, viruses, fungal infection, dysbiosis, and very often heavy metals and toxins. They're together with, 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 with candida, with different fungus, with different, create a very inflamed environment. Mm -hmm. And the inflamed environment creates extravasation of the, of the mucosa, of the boundaries, and then particles that are too big that are not supposed to get in, get through the mucosa into the bloodstream, and then you get an autoimmune response. And that's why autoimmunity relates to digestive system. Mm -hmm. Well known in, in Crohn, in ulcerative colitis, but now we understand it's much bigger. You treat, you treat the gut, you treat gl gluten sensitivity, some Parkinson and, M and multiple sclerosis patients get better. Mm -hmm. So you can see the neurological. Because if you, why am I tying the neurological, that you didn't ask specifically, to, to the digestion? Just to mood, yeah, and things because like that. Because they are the same process. We digest food with our digestion. Mm -hmm. We digest thoughts and feeling with our mind. So there's a lot of parallels. Mm -hmm. When the digestion is strong physically, the digestion is strong mentally, also, we produce better energy. Our mitochondrial health gets improved. Energy goes level, goes up, level goes up. Our mood goes up. So a lot of autoimmune conditions actually start with digestion and, and can be benefited by changing our we know. Our digestion. We know. We know as simple as taking good, having a good healthy flora in the gut. We, we know the effects. It affects the immune system. It can mm -hmm. affect cancer because of this dynamic balance in the gut and the digestion that affects the whole body.